Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Kate. And I'm Alex. And we've got a Target haul. We're here in Florida as of recording. If you've seen our previous videos, you'll know. If not, check it out up there. We're on a trip in America and while we're here, we thought we'd try some awesome stuff. Yeah, we thought it'd be fun to get to the shops ourselves, experience everything and pick out some delicious things to try while we're over here. Yeah, and if you don't follow us on TikTok already, we've been making some fun videos where we experience places for the first time, yep. like Bucky's, sorts Publix. of like, Publix, yeah. Yeah, it's just been so much fun. It's been really great getting to finally go to places that you guys have talked about. Yeah. See them in the flesh. And no, Alex is not drinking a beer. That is liquid death, which is yes. water. <laughs> Just want to clear that up. Just clear that up. And yes, I'm here with another one of my Bucky's pieces. I've got this wonderful cosmic. Yeah, is cosmic that what it is? design. Cosmic. Yeah. How cool is that? that it is pretty see? epic. Yeah, you can see that. They are also such good value, aren't they? Yeah. So love it. And Alex has got his Bucky's hat on, I've so I can just see. Oh, yeah, I thought you had a sticker on there. Yeah, well, I was wearing it forward the other day. Yeah. I just thought I'd do a little subtle nod to Bucky today. Yeah. yeah. Um, but anyway, today is Target Edition, um, aka their brand favorite, favorite day. day. We have absolutely loved everything we've tried so far mm. because we had a favorite day bunny trail mix, which so, we yeah. loved, and the Easter. caramels. But then when our sister went back, we said, is there anything else? And what we tried was delicious. Yeah. So when we went this time, we wanted to go searching for more favorite day items. And wow, the shop is full of it. In some ways, it's slightly annoying that you can't just go to one section and get it all because I feel like we've missed out on some stuff. But it's like, if you go to the ice cream section, there's favorite diet ice cream, there's cones, there's Well, it's savories. in the appropriate section. It'd it be is. weird because otherwise you'd then have an, a, a favorite day yeah. mini shop and you'd True. have everything in there. It, it does work well like that. Because it's competing with other brands yeah. in different categories. But for us, it'd be nice to have it all laid out. But it's not about us. <laughs> <laughs> and there's even a bakery section, so we've got some fresh stuff. Yeah, so, and that was a first for us. Yeah, that, we didn't realize there was fresh stuff. No, Look maybe it depends there. on the size of the target. Yeah. But before we carry on, what is your favorite day? My favorite day is probably a Saturday. Really? I really love the buzz of a weekend. Yeah, I like a Saturday. What about you? Maybe like a Friday, because you, you know you you've know got the whole the weekend. weekend ahead of you. Yeah. yeah, I really enjoy a Saturday, actually. Yeah, lovely. Let but us know down below what your favorite day is. Any day of the week can be a good day. Yeah, it can. Yeah. It's what you make of it, Al. It's what you make of it. It is. And we made today a great day, because we went a... and put all of these today delicious Today was things. my favorite day. Before we get started, if, like us, you enjoy trying snacks and treats from different countries, you can shop our website. We'll leave a link down below. It's full of our British chocolates and candies. We pop them in boxes, and you can send them as gifts or just enjoy them yeah that's our own website so when you order one of those it helps support the channel we've got a whole selection of boxes on there from one-off boxes to sharing boxes to subscription boxes all sorts there's something Lots for everyone you can choose from so definitely check out it helps keeps us making these videos we have to start with a certain item to begin with do we and that is because they are chilled slash frozen uh, yes now this is really exciting i've only seen one brand do this thus far which is ben and jerry's but we have now got favorite day Monster, Monster cookie dough snacks. And feel that, it feels a good amount. Whereas with the Ben and Jerry's one, you it's seem to not bag, get many. Yeah. <laughs> that seems really good. And we've had the Monster We've had the mix. Monster, yeah, like which is kind of, of like this. Caramel, chocolate. Peanuts. Peanuts. Um, and isn't there some kind of candy? Is it I chocolate co candy oh, coated chocolate? Oh, candy coated chocolate. Chips, really fun. So this is the cookie dough version. Yum. Mm. Delight inside, shareable or not. I love like little bits on here. Mm. This favorite day does kind of give me a bit of like a Trader Joe's vibe. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? And also they had a couple of other flavors, didn't they? They had just a chocolate chip. Yep. Oh, Was cinnamon, like snickerdoodle. snickerdoodle type. That's what I quite like about favorite days. They seem to do like fun flavors. It's not just yeah, like boring. boring stuff. Ooh, I can smell the peanut already. Wow, yeah, strong. Matt will be keeling over in the corner. Oh, wow. read what's in them. I wasn't expecting number two. Uh. Made with peanut butter, rolled oats, chocolate chips, and bright rainbow candy coated chips. Yeah, you can taste the oats. That's so funny. I'm not sure I'd put oats in there. Mm. Delicious though. The cookie dough is nice. Yeah. Mmm. Also, we've had them in the fridge rather than the freezer, so they're very soft. Mm. So it's a different texture. Couldn't get to our really freezer. Very nice. Mmm. What do you think to that then? I think they're good. Although I just think the Ben and Jerry's cookie dough mm -hmm. is just so good. It's yeah. hard to compete, isn't it? I think it's a good combination of flavors. I but ben and Jerry's cookie dough is the cookie dough you're just used to yeah. from the ice creams. Exactly. So anything else tastes different. Mm. You get so much in here. It's crazy. You get loads more in there than you do in the mm -hmm. Ben and Jerry's. 
I'm cheap, I think. They are delicious, but like you say, we're so used to the cookie dough from Ben and Jerry's mm. that they're not as good as those. But I really like the different flavor combinations. Yeah. And actually, I really like the peanut yeah, butter. Yeah, peanut butter's nice. Because that's the thing, it's peanut butter, not peanut, which I'm really pleased about. The peanut butter is absolutely delicious. What are you giving those out of 10? I think I'll give them an eight out of 10. Hmm. Really solid. I might give them an eight out of 10 as well. What would you like to go for next? Should we try some of these bakery items? Mm. It seems only right to start with the fresh. Yeah, I think the want? scones, the scones. Are they scones? Scones. Orange cranberry mini scones. Now we're not sure if these are out all the time or if these ones are more seasonal because we're getting into like the Christmassy stuff this yes. time we went in today. It's full. They had pumpkin things. Yeah. But they started putting their Christmas stuff out, haven't they? Mm. So I'm I'm wondering if this one's more the festive one. Festive. Festivus for the rest of us. Now, these do not look like our scones in England at all, but we went to a coffee shop the other day and you had a really delicious one, Scone, didn't yeah. you? And it was like this. It was a triangle and it was slightly soft. They're so moist. Yeah, because our scones are a bit more like baked, aren't they? A bit more And And they're, set. they're more like the look of your biscuits. You cut them in yeah. half, you put your cottage cream and jam. Whereas these, you just have them on their own. It's almost like a very soft biscuit. It at is. home, cookie. Mm. They almost look like sugar cookies. This is so interesting. Really doughy. It, it almost feels a bit like wet because it's like mm. moist. But then when you bite into it, at first it tasted a bit dry, but then it's like claggy and comes mm. together really moist. It would be great with a cup of tea. What do you think of the flavour? These little pops of cranberry and orange are really nice. Mm -hmm. I think it needs a bit more. Mm -hmm. The scone doesn't give a lot of flavour. The main flavour is the dried fruit. That's the thing, the pops of the flavours are delicious, but the rest of it, there's some bits in the middle that's a bit dry. And I might think, oh, is that how it's meant to be? But the scone you had the other day in the coffee mm. shop was moist all the way through mm. and delicious. It's still really nice, but like it's a little dry. Yeah. So unless you've got like a hot beverage to, or a glass of milk, I feel like it comes across a bit dry. This would be great with the coffee. Mm. I could think if I had those at home, I'd probably add some jam to it. Mm -hmm. Or like cream or butter. Yeah. And maybe you are meant to do that. You guys you have to can let us know. know. What are you giving Twins. that? <laughs> I think I'll give it a seven out of ten. Yeah, it's I'll probably give seven and a half out of ten. But it's just, I think it's missing something. Yeah, me too. Let's see if the Madeline and Brownie Tiny Treats can take it higher. They also had Madeline's on their own. And they also had Brownies, brownies on, on their, their own. own. But we thought, let's combine the two. And also the Brownies were massive. And we didn't want to just waste food and we probably no. wouldn't be able to finish these in time. I have never seen a Madeline and Brownie before, no. have you? No, no, not at all. So, could this it... better the Brownie and could this better the Madeline? Because I personally find a Madeline a bit boring. I wonder if they have similar cooking times, because obviously they've made a Madeline batter and then they've put it in a, a baking tray and then they've dolloped a bit of brownie That's on top. That's the problem. Do you remember when we met Marlin from yeah. Canada and she was saying like those brookies are yeah. awful because it's like them need to have different cooking, cooking times. cooking times are different. Right, I'm going to try a bit of both. Madeline's really spongy. Nice flavour. You bit into... Just Madeline. Right. Bite into there. Both of how... it or just brownie? That like half of brownie. Like, look how soft that brownie is. Mmm. That's hardly cooked, but that's how I like that, it. Well, that's the thing. I think what they've done well is they've made sure to underdo the brownie yeah. so the madeleine's anything, not yeah. overdone. That's like oh. fudgy. That is incredible. I wanted to try the madeleine first on its own mm. and then try them together because I love madeleines. Do you? But I don't so much like just the plain sponge ones. Mm -hmm. Although if you get the Bon Maman ones, they are lovely vanilla flavoured. But my favourite, the Bon Maman, the back of them is covered in like an actual chocolate. chocolate and they're incredible. So what do you think to this? Amazing. The brownie is so rich and squidgy, just how I like it, really underdone. And then it sits really nicely in the madeleine, doesn't it? You all have to let us know because mm. we won't be trying them now, but I wonder how similar to their brownie cups that brownie is. Mm. Cause I, I feel like they wouldn't have been that soft, no. the brownies on their own. So maybe actually the they, combo is perfect. They did look nice and juicy, but yeah. not that juicy. Mm. I love downing a bit of water after like a claggy oh, yeah. chocolate. I really enjoyed them. I personally don't really like Madeline's on their own and I'm not the biggest fan of brownie on their own. So for me, this is a really good combo because it makes it not too overpowering chocolatey and not just plain boring sponge. Yeah. The combination of the two was delicious. Brings the best parts of both yep. together. 
and I don't really like the cakey, cakey brownies. So that brownie that was like really soft and like squelchy in a yeah. way was absolutely delicious. Yeah. What are you giving those? I'm going to give them a 10 out of 10. I'm going to give them, them a 9 out of 10. They were really, really delicious. Definitely better than the um, scones. Yeah, that's for sure. Something sweet to break in it up? Breaking it to up. Break it yeah, up. let's break keep breaking it up. it up. Now, what we notice is you can get bags of favorite day sweets. Yes. Yeah. Which in that target, they didn't have many options, but another target we went to was like a whole wall. Yeah. But you can also get these little tubs. Yeah. Which is a much more expensive way of doing it. But I wonder if these are more like, oh, I want to give these to you. Because they do look I think look they look like... better as a gift, don't they? And they also look like those fancy sweets that you get, like, you know, that gummy bear shop. Yeah. That was just like all gummy bears. Yeah. Like, this looks fancy. Now, you like the look of these because yeah. of like the colour. I like the way... Oh, it's got a really like good That's foil good. seal so you know they're definitely yeah. fresh you can keep the tub yeah i like the color of these they're kind of pastel kind of colors and they're also kind of creamy looking yeah, yeah. they're like that like milky style milky look it does say give us a gift or say for a treat mm. i feel like you can save the pot as well oh yeah how are they incredible really how about blue one had the pink one wow the this texture. was definitely the right choice are they almost a little bit like um fizzy yeah. That one seems it. Wow. Blue's amazing. Yeah. The texture on these are incredible. Lovely texture. Really nice. Fresh, fruity flavour. I love the kind of the sugar on the outside. Yeah, the sugar crumb mm. is really good. These are fantastic. Orange, not quite as good, but still really good. I'm not sure it's... I think it's tangerine. Mm. Mandarin. Mmm. Oh, no. I'll take it back. That's delicious. It's really nice. That's like the... Um, Thorntons. Mm. <laughs> that was 100% the best the best choice. Mm -hmm. Well done, Al. Because I was almost picking something else. You silly Billy. Oh, they're absolutely incredible. I think they do have to be a 10 out of 10. Yeah, I love the pop. I love the branding, the colours and the flavours are amazing. Yeah, definitely 10 out of 10. Do you want to do another sweet or move on? Let's go sweet while we're here. Yeah. Why We've not? got favourite day peach ring and I'm going to let you into a bit of a secret. I've already tried these. <laughs> You cheeky menace. <laughs> but I knew Al had The way you were like, <laughs> cheeky menace. I've had insider knowledge that these are fantastic. I wanted Al to try them. But also you wanted another bag. I wanted another bag. <laughs> cheeky menace. These are favourite day peach rings. Gummy candies. Midday Mid pick me up. Oh. Pick I've, me up. I've never thought of uh, peach rings as a midday no. pick me up, have you? No. Hooray for candy, fruity, chewy, sweet and sour, we've got them all. When you've got a sweet craving, reach for favourite day candy. Great for car rides, movie snacks and a just because treat. Oh. All your money back. All your money back. It says, guaranteed to be a favourite, all your money back. But oh yeah, like, we've remarked on this before, Could you we? not say, actually I prefer the gummy bears so these aren't my favourite? Yeah. Right, smell those. Or, oh, they're nice. We had the Albanese. Yeah. Rings, so could I go actually they're not as good as the Albanese to Can compare my money these are like the more classic yeah. original peach ring and the Albanese with were the different. opaque on the bottom and then on top you got the translucent bit this is much squidgier I think. it is much squidgier I think the Albanese are more tart this is more mm. mellow it's just a very mellow peach flavor aftertaste mm. the sugar crunch is delicious I like that you've got more the jelly one on top and the opaque on the bottom it's a lighter flavor isn't it that's really lovely but do you like it mm, really really like it although actually do you think it's a bit more like sugary sweet than the albanese but you like them i like them yeah what but are you giving i think those? i prefer the albanese actually now after having the both i think i prefer the albanese so I'm as well give these an eight out of ten which is so funny because like things can change, can't they? At the start of the holiday, we had a bag with Holly and Jade yeah. and Matt. I would give these 10 out of 10, but now the Albanese are definitely mm. over them. So I'm going to give them like a eight, nine. Yeah. But of course, because Albanese are amazing. Albanese are incredible. Should we do those milk chocolate with toffee and sea salt? Yes. I think so. I'm a bit worried if we leave them to the end, we might be a bit... Really? Might be a bit rich. Look at them. Slip they look rich. pretty decadent, don't they? Now this is definitely one Owl's picked out. What have we got? Milk chocolate with toffee and sea salt. At least I didn't pick dark chocolate. No, and these are truffles. Truffles, yeah. Yay for chocolate. Are these individually wrapped? No. Yes, they are. Oh, they are, wow. I wonder though if that's because they're so rich and decadent. Have we ever seen a favorite day thing that's I don't think so. Wrapped? No. Oh, well, Not apart from the bag. caramels. Yeah. But that's different. It's kind of different, otherwise they'd be all stuck together. Yeah, but I think maybe because these are so rich and decadent. Yeah. So rich. Very rich. 
come out in your mouth. But mm. better than I was thinking. Do love that. I do love that. There are things I would prefer, probably like the caramels we had from them, but that's really up there. And I love the fact in all that soft chocolate, you get the little, little bits crunches. of crunches of salt and toffee. Yeah, because by toffee, little, they're doing like you know, the hard English. Little, yeah. It's actually really nice to have those little crunches. Mm. Way too much for me. I would never pick something like this. Really? But actually, they are way better than I thought. What are you giving it out of 10? I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I'm, they are very good, but I'm going to give them like a 7 out of 10. I, I feel like I've had much better truffles. For me, I would much prefer something really rich and like a small amount of it than, you know, a lot of something a bit more... You just rather Middle a couple, of the road. just like, two chocky treats, too truffle. really rich. Yeah, or a couple of pieces of like really rich dark chocolate over like a yeah. whole bar of milk. Can't I think relate. I might prefer a whole bar of milk. Can't relate. <laughs> now we've had the normal, well actually I don't think we have had the normal, but we had the sea salt caramels, didn't we? Yeah, I think so. And I believe they have normal caramels. Now these are apple caramels. These are limited, uh, limited offering. Limited offering. So we are we are right in the cusp here of like fall and Christmas. Yeah. So we've been able to see a lot of the fall items, but it's funny. I feel like there's actually more Christmas items out in the UK before America. So yeah. I'm wondering if it's different stores because I feel like loads of you commented saying like it's either Walmart or Walgreens. Yeah. Can't remember what it is because when we went to Walmart at the very start of the trip, when you yeah, arrived, we didn't they had go more as stuff. hard on Halloween. Whereas it That's seems like it. you guys go really hard on Halloween and you won't do Christmas maybe until after until Halloween. After Halloween. Like, we'll go in for Christmas from like the end of September, wouldn't you say? Yes, stuff starts coming yeah. in, and then we'll have like one aisle or half an aisle for like Halloween, but that just kind of like pops in. That's and just leaves. like a bit of Harry Bow that's shaped yeah. like a broom or something. Yeah. Like, there's really not <laughs> and maybe much. a couple of outfits. Otherwise, you've got like pumpkin and everything. Yeah. So, apple Ooh. caramels. I like the sound of this rather than pumpkin. And these really remind me of the ones we just had recently from Minnesota, um, from oh, Abdala's. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Really does have that apple flavour, doesn't mm. it? Mm. Well, I feel like out of all the apple caramel things we've had, don't you think that's more of a natural animal? Animal? <laughs> natural animal. Apple flavour. That tastes like apples in a pie. Yeah, you're right. It's not green apple. The other day we had um, an apple pie from Bucky's. Check it out on TikTok. And that tastes like that, like cooked yeah. apples. Co it tastes, that's it. Mm. Cooked. It like tastes like a cooked pie. apple. Yeah. Not green apple toffee. Whereas those ones from Abdala, they did taste more just like a green apple, didn't they? We really enjoyed those. I love that one. Mm. In some ways, I think I actually prefer that yeah, to, to this. this. Yeah. Which is funny because if you'd have told me, do I prefer a natural apple or more of a cooked apple, a artificial, oh, artificial apple? Yeah. I think I prefer the Abdullahs, but it is nice. I do think Favorite Day have just absolutely nailed the texture yeah. of the caramels. Yeah, they're really lovely. But I prefer the sea salt. Yeah. What are you giving When you them? get them, they're so soft and they mm -hmm. just like pull apart, don't they, in your hand? They really do. They're delightful, aren't they? But I think... <laughs> delightful. <laughs> they're really... Delightful. Delicious. 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 No, they're really nice, Delorious. but I think I prefer the Abdala ones Me too. from what I remember. Yeah. So I'll probably have to give them a 7 out of 10. Yeah, I'll probably just give them a 7 out of 10 as well. And last but not least, Alex. Yeah. I think you're going to be excited for this. Really? We have favourite day milk chocolate caramel pretzel crunchy clusters. That sounds amazing. Do you know what's amazing about that? What? Is no there's peanuts. not a peanut in there. But I think that's partly because they have the monster one that has peanuts. Yeah. But I think this is amazing because a lot of people have peanut allergies. Laura from Love and Junk, she feels like she often misses out on a lot of things because the crunch and things is the peanut. peanut yeah. Whereas this is pretzel. So I feel like you would enjoy this, Laura. And I think pretzel is a good alternative, alternative. to peanuts as well yeah because it's still kind of salty it's still crunchy and it's good they've got both they've got the monster with the peanuts and then this as well as a i'm option. gonna get you a good piece please do that. they've yeah. not gone stingy on the caramel i'd like you to have that piece. thank you and you know what i haven't seen that i thought i'd, I'd see here it was what? one time we were sent like a bag of reese's that was like a oh, mix yeah. so it was like popcorn Ooh, reese's pieces and then there were like mini cups and, and that's stuff like that. one of those things that you always said you would get, I would again. get again. But I haven't seen it since no. I've been here. Cheers. Cheers. Well, the, and the good thing about the favourite day is they actually have good chocolate. Mm -hmm. 
Like it? Yeah, love that. Nice salty pretzel. Chewy caramel. Chocolatey, caramelly, salty. Chewy. Chewy, yeah, definitely chewy. Very nice. Yeah, I think just out of personal preference, I think for me the monster is better. I think there's just more saltiness, more richness. And more depth of flavour. More depth, yeah. But did you like it? I really liked it. I just found the pretzel a bit overpowering in that because mm. it's actually really quite dry. Maybe it needs to be smaller bits of pretzel with chocolate and caramel. That did taste a bit more dry. Mm. I wasn't as impressed with that as I thought I was going to be. Oh, okay. But Sorry, I think that yeah. was more my impression. I my... Also, well, I also bigged it up a bit. Yeah. Because Matt could... had that bag at the start of the holiday and I feel like there's more pretzel in there. Yeah, loads of pretzel and like whole pretzels. Mm -hmm. Because I think the saltiness of the peanut butter is what I love in the other, yeah. in the Monster one. True. So I'm going to have to give it an 8 out of 10. Okay, mm. yeah. It's yeah. still really up there. I was, I would still happily eat that. It's just, in comparison, it's just not as good. Yeah, and actually it was way more pretzely than I thought it was going to be. Mm. So maybe seven and a half for me. About six, yeah. Mm -hmm. Treat of the week. I think it's got to be New the gonna do that. and yeah. brownie. They were really, really delicious, but mm. not quite my treat of the week. No, and I love that it was like a fresh item. Yeah, that was really cool getting to try the fresh item. Mm. But for me, the favourite day, gummy bears were my favourite That's a today. close second for me. Yeah, absolutely delicious. I At first, I thought you we were going to go for that, and then I saw the Madeleines. I was like, no, you'll be going for that. Absolutely delicious. That has been wonderful, hasn't it? Yeah, great box. And I can't believe we're at a point now where we can do a full video of, of Trader Jay's Trader Jay's? Who's believe... that? The cousin? Yeah, the cousin of Trader Jay. Um, I can't believe we're at a point where we can do a whole video of, of Target, Target with favourite day yeah, items. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. Mm. I feel like I need to do a bit more research, like when did the first favourite day thing come yeah. out and like what was it? Because there seems to be so much now. And I love that, although it's an own brand, I think you could be lazy and you could just like undercut everyone else and not yeah. make a good product. Oh, yeah. Whereas they've done, I think the branding is superb. I think um, oh, the, the pricing lovely. is good, but also what they actually make is really good. Yeah, I think the branding's awesome. You mm. wouldn't think it was a store-owned brand. No. I think it's really, really awesome. But anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed watching that. Don't forget to check out our website. We'll leave it linked down below. We sell British candy boxes and you can get one for yourself. Yeah, and that helps support this channel and keep us making videos. We've got loads of boxes on our website and there's something for everyone. Yeah, and don't forget to check out our TikTok. We have been filming videos along the way of our American adventures. Yeah. And we've had a lot of fun with that. So yeah. go follow us over on there. Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed watching and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys. See ya.